Hi, I'm Misty Velasky, and this is Ojai Valley News In-Depth. Joining us today is Dominique Pearl. Thanks for being here. No problem. Dominique, you were placed, you placed third on the second season of the fashion show on Bravo TV. So share, us, uh, share with us that whole crazy world. Um, it was a crazy experience. I was really lucky to be put in the situation where all I had to worry about was designing, and I got to live in New York City for six weeks and just kind of... Uh, do whatever I wanted from week to week, and um, I met some really amazing people. I'm working with Caesar now, which has been a blessing, absolutely, because he knows, you know, far more than I do. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was a, it was a great experience. I'm kind of like jump started everything that I'm working on now, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. What were some of your most memorable moments? Most memorable moments. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of it because we were so tired. I think, <laughs> but um. um there's Caesar's a great storyteller. He always had us laughing. Um, you know, just like silly things. It's a it's a room of you know twelve creative people, lack of sleep, and uh, you know like all these crazy things. Like it's just I just felt like we were just delirious and just crazy the whole time. It's hard to pick one. <laughs> uh, you had cameras in your face like the whole time for six weeks straight. <laughs> what is that like? How is that different from being you know? A small town girl. It's kind of weird because you uh, kind of get used to it. Like it's it's not a big deal anymore. It's just kind of like okay, we'll put my mic on. Go ahead, like you know, you just get used to it, and you kind of just have to take it a day at a time and hope hope that you look your best because it's on national television. You're just kind of like oh, um, so yeah. It, it uh, you kind of, it's something you kind of get used to after a certain extent of time. Um, so I don't know. Was it was no the choice. whole thing worth it? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, I was kind of at a point where I was deciding, like, you know, where I was going to go with my career, and, um, you know, it kind of, like, pushed me off of some sort of cliff, and I just jumped, and I'm living in New York now, which is what I ultimately wanted. I didn't know how I was going to get there, but um, it was kind of, like, a test period for that, and um, absolutely worth it. <laughs> Good. And, you know, after the show, you'd certainly hit the ground running. Recently worked with Gwen Stefani. So what was that like? <laughs> what were you doing for her line? Um, I got to New York in September, and within three days, I think, I had met her. Um, she kind of just walked in the studio, and Caesar's like, I need your help with da-da-da, and I'm like, okay, whatever you need, like, you know, I'll be there. And, um, so I helped him with a bunch of the runway pieces for the last collection, and then, um, he got hired on as one of the head designers for the company, um, for this past season, so we were doing the same thing, just running around and making it happen. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And uh, you're still close friends with Caesar, of course. What are you guys working on right now? What are we working on now? Well, uh, Gwen's stuff took quite a bit of time there. We were like a solid three weeks working like 18-hour days, like crazy. Um, but we got through that. Um, we are also working on Caesar's collection that he is launching um, through the factory that owns Gwen Stefani's line. Um, so we've been working on that also. Um, I've been kind of working on my stuff on the side, but we've kind of hit like a breaking point, um, which, you know, I'm here in California now <laughs> for a little bit. Good. And I hear you've got a project with MP MTV coming up. I do. Um, MTV had approached me. They are doing a feature on three um, young designers in New York. Um, well, I guess artists, creative people. Um, I know one of the other artists is a rapper, a female rapper, and I think the other one is a writer. Um, but just kind of like what inspires us, and um, it's like just a little 60-second spot, but kind of showcasing what I do. Great. Yeah. And when's that one going to come out? April 25th, I just found out. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in the Ojai Valley, um, pretty small-town kid, now living in big New York City. What is that like? How's that transition? <laughs> um, I think I always like belonged in the city. It's kind of, it's this weird sense of like comfort with all this stuff happening around. I don't know. Um it's just two lives. It's like, I love being in Ohio. I love the sort of like relaxation. I get to drive my car down the coast if I want to, <laughs> like, you know, things like that. Um, but I love being in the city. I love the energy of the city and everybody's just kind of running around and doing whatever they do. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's just two worlds. I love being there though. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know if it, it, it's weird to feel at home where it's like so strange, like it's so different, but, um, I don't know. I'm loving it. <laughs> Good. And uh, you went a long way. Now, you always sort of had your goal of New York City. Um, but tell us about when you first caught that fashion bug. Um, let's see. I guess I was like a junior in high school, and I started sewing and kind of playing around with designing. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like this a lot. I'm spending a lot of hours in my room alone sewing. <laughs> like, not that many uh, teenage girls do that. Um, 
So I was like, okay, pick a college, go to fashion school. Seemed obvious to me. And um, every minute from there, it's like, you know, the sketching part, I'm like, oh, okay, I love to sketch. And then like, oh, I get to drape and like all these things I had no idea were involved. Um, I was kind of worried like, oh, I probably will not like it. Maybe it's just like I like the sewing part. But um, every step of it's just kind of like fueled the fire, I guess. Great. And that's actually perfect that you mentioned school. Um, Tell us about your uh, time at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. A lot of work. Um, I think for any fashion school, it's just kind of like what you take out of it. They kind of give you all the tools, like here's here's what it's about, here's what you need to do it, go learn. And, um, you know, I, I love it. I could spend every hour of the day doing it, and I get so excited, and I'm like, oh, and then I'm working on this and this and this, and I, you know. Um, so it was, it was a great experience, a lot of work, but um, I obviously took a lot out of it, and... Um, It seems to be in my benefit. (laughs) And right after that, you had been working on several projects. I know you were working with guests, and there was something with Alice in Wonderland as well? Yeah, um, it was like kind of during the time I was auditioning for the show. um, I did a project with Disney, and I got to design an Alice-inspired dress, which is, it seems like so long ago, but it wasn't really. (laughs) But, you know, I was kind of in seclusion all summer, so Mm. it's like I skipped a chunk of last year, I guess, but... um, (laughs) Yeah, and just projects. I've been very fortunate. Like, the projects have come up and kind of, like, fallen into place. It's like, what do I do, what do I do? And then something comes in, I'm like, okay, I'll do this. <laughs> and, like, run and do that. And it's, uh, it's been good. Good. And uh, how would you describe your design style? And is that different from your personal style? Um, it's kind of developed. Um, like, school projects have always sort of been this geisha thing I don't know where it came from or why I think that I'm Japanese or something (laughs) but um I've always been really inspired by like Japanese culture and geisha culture and um that's always been like underlying like all my school projects I'd be like I'm not doing geishas this time and I try to do something but geishas are always in there somewhere (laughs) I'm like oh but that's kind of like a geisha or something um and then like this whole fairy tale idea came in and I'm kind of merging the two in this darkness and this whimsical idea I guess um and then on the show it's like but what are you wearing? Like, why aren't your models wearing what you're wearing? I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm wearing. I just, I made this shirt and it's just kind of huge. And I, you know, um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of developed. And as a designer, you kind of have to find your point of view and, and what you're going to say, you know, cause everybody's a designer. Everybody has their own ideas. Um, so it's kind of become this slouchy chic, uh, I don't know, geisha girl. And it's still kind of in the process, but after leaving the show, it was kind of like, okay, well, what am I wearing? Like, it's really simple, but like, Maybe people want to wear this, which is what I'm working on producing now. Great. And are those pieces going to be available soon for the public? Soon, yes. Um, Like within the next month. I'm in production now. I'm kind of like doing it all myself at this point because, you know, I'm a starving student. (laughs) But, um, (laughs) you know, it's it's very basic. They're very basic oversized shirts. Some of this like shredding that I'm wearing right now is kind of an idea I've been playing with. Um, But yeah, like uh, April... I pushed it on the MTV thing, and uh, (laughs) now apparently too, so um, yeah, April coming. Great. Yes. Well, thanks for being here. We appreciate your time. No problem. I'm Misty Velasky. This is Dominique Pearl. This has been Ojai Valley News In Depth.